What is up everybody and welcome to Support Gaming Network. I am Zimmy and today we're going to be discussing a game that I'm sure everyone has heard of but maybe really hasn't tried out and that game is Final Fantasy 14. Also don't forget to smash that like button and hit that subscribe button and tick that bell to get notified every time I upload a video regarding game reviews, game guides, gameplay, and much more. Final Fantasy XIV is an MMORPG that has been around since 2010. Yes, that's right, a 10 year old game that is still going. Unless you have been living under a rock, or you haven't given the game a shot, the Final Fantasy XIV game is set in the Final Fantasy universe, where you begin your journey as a regular adventure and eventually evolve into a hero, or in this case, a warrior of light. I decided to pick up this game because I've been craving a traditional MMORPG, and it just so happens that I have a few friends who've been playing this game on and off for a few years, and they've been telling me how great it was and how great the story was. Now for me, I'm not so big into the stories, and honestly, I picked this game up when it first came out and quit pretty early on, uh, because honestly, the game felt slow, it felt clunky, it felt uh, boring and very grindy at the start. Fast forward to 2020 in a world with very little MMORPGs that are worth their weight, and a group of friends who insisted I should give it another shot, I went ahead and created a new account, got the game because I couldn't find my old one, and set off on a new adventure with extremely low expectations. As I started out in the game, it felt like the old time I used to play, with slow combat, and it felt very quest grindy. However, my friend showed me that unlike the 2010 version, I could actually get to level 15 and then begin doing dungeons non-stop. This obviously piqued my interest, so I quickly focused on getting to level 10 and then began doing dungeons. The game starts off very simple with mechanics, almost as if it was a way to teach you how the game works. As you progress through the game, those mechanics become more and more aggressive first baby steps, and then it begins to ramp up much faster. Interestingly enough, so do your skills. As you progress through the game, you start off with very little skills, and the combat can be extremely boring. You press a button, wait for your global cooldown to come back, and then press another button. Boring, right? I could easily tell why I quit the game in the first place. However, to my great surprise, once you hit level 30, the game starts to pick up. This is actually where the fun starts in Final Fantasy XIV. Once you hit level 30, you will be able to pick up a subclass or job. In my case, it was Paladin. Once you hit that benchmark, you now start to see how the game takes off. You begin learning skills, get gear that increases your global cooldown, and get abilities that are off global cooldown. These abilities is what really lets you see why people are enjoying the game when it comes to combat. As mentioned earlier, the mechanics for dungeons begin to also pick up as well, where you really need to start paying attention or you can get one shot. Furthermore, once you get higher level and past 30, you also start accessing things outside of just dungeons. From trials, which are usually one extremely hard boss that you can wipe on if you don't know the mechanics properly, to even raids at level 50 and higher, which, as you guess it, are larger parties and with more mobs and more bosses that can kill you in just seconds if you don't know what you're doing. Honestly, once you hit 40 and get past the basics, or what I like to think of them as the learning phase of the game, Final Fantasy XIV really begins to flush itself out from the boringness that you hear from everyone who only gives it a little bit of time. In good old fashioned MMORPG style, the more you play the game, the better it gets. Another interesting fact that I have learned about the game is that the developers are even addressing the issue with the original start of the game being long, slow, and boring. They are currently working on a patch that is supposedly going to fix a lot of that and speed up the process to get you into the new expansions where the game gets much better. Final Fantasy XIV not only provides dungeons, raids, trials, and an interesting combat system, it also provides things such as profession system, which includes alchemy, blacksmithing, accessory crafting, and more. 
I personally haven't done the crafting system a whole lot, but from what I have done, it does seem pretty easy to grasp and it seems quite enjoyable. The game also has PvP from what I have been told. I personally have not done it yet, and well, from what I hear, the PvP isn't a huge highlight of the game. However, considering the fact that the devs are listening to the community with certain aspects of the game, such as going back to the original part of the game and completely revamping it, I think if there is enough community feedback about the PvP, they will eventually try to make it better. On another note, the community does have an in-depth RP community, if that is something that you're interested in. Within minutes of playing the game, I had already run into a few RPers who were doing their thing in the middle of the city. Those who were not into RP seemed to just go about their business, and others who do RP, you could see them hopping into it. Another shining feature that Final Fantasy XIV provides is an extremely well-made storyline combined with amazing cinematics. Usually I am a person who skips the story and the cinematics simply due to the fact that I am more interested in the in-game than anything, but I have caught myself multiple times stopping a moment and watching the cinematics and really getting involved into the story because it is definitely well made. For those of you who are solo players and may not have friends to play with, don't worry. Final Fantasy XIV has a nice quality of life dungeon and raid finder that you can queue up into. And with around 7 million plus players, and the dungeon and raid finders providing daily bonuses for any level to queue up to, as well as a level syncing to make sure that the even lower level dungeons can be fun for higher levels, you spend almost no time in queue. Even as a DPS, your average queue time on primetime hours is around 10 to 15 minutes, which is not bad for a DPS. All in all, I was pleasantly surprised with Final Fantasy XIV. At the time of this recording, I'm almost level 60 and I've put around 70 to 80 hours in the game. Probably a little bit of AFKing in there, but honestly, I can truly say that I do enjoy the game and the more I play it, the more I enjoy it. So if you haven't given Final Fantasy XIV a shot and maybe you're kind of like me and you played it when it first came out and then quit really early on, or maybe you're just looking for a new game to play to kind of scratch that MMORPG itch, I really recommend that you try out Final Fantasy XIV. My biggest recommendation though is before you judge it, make sure to get past level 40. This is really when the game starts picking up. Level 30 is where it starts and then level 40 is really where it takes off. And uh... The big problem I've seen with people who've done reviews on Final Fantasy or people who've just played the game and, you know, not really given it a whole lot of shot, maybe played it a day or two, they all say the same thing. The game sucks. And I was like them. I've made the same mistake. Uh, and I finally decided to give it a try because, well, there's not that much on the market right now and gave it a shot and I'm really happy with what is evolved and I'm looking forward to continue playing this game for a while uh, and getting through all the expansions up to the current one which is Shadowbringers. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, and enjoyed this review on Final Fantasy XIV and if you like it, please make sure that you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, tick that bell so you can get notified every time I release a video. Thank you guys so much, and this is Zimmy, signing off.